Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-mursaleen We are going to resume actually uh, in commercial law for business students uh, and started on page 188 to continue in our lecture and talk about holding and, and subsidiary companies holding and subsidiary companies during the later half of the uh, 20th century it, beca it became uh, uh, increasingly common for public companies to operate in groups one the holding company controls the others subsidiary companies such a relationship exists where the holding company has the capability to control the voting majority within the subsidiaries under the company's law there is a duty to disclose this uh, relationship to ensure that members of the public are not misled in their dealings uh, with any of the members the holding the holding company is also obliged to present group accounts as well as its own advantages and disadvantages of creating a company the choice between using a limited company as a trading vehicle and remaining unincorporated as a sole trader on a partnership is one which has significant implications for businesses once incorporated the members of a limited company enjoy limited liability so long as they have paid for their shares and for they cannot uh, be required to, contr uh, to contribute to the debts of the company however you will find examples later where the veil of incorporation can be lifted to remove the benefits of limited liability the company can sue and be sued in its own name. This is an advantage to shareholders in that they do not become immediately responsible for the debts of the company. In event of a liquidation, however, ordinary shareholders rank last in the list of creditors of a company and rarely recover the full value of their investment. This reinforces the basis on which a company owns property, which is that its uh, assets belong to the company itself, not to its members. Ownership and management are uh, fundamentally separate in a company, although it may small although in many excuse me in many small companies the reality is that the directors are also the company's shareholders this does not change the fundamental point under law and it is unusual for large public companies which have a stock exchange listing to have a similar situation while directors of a public limited company will usually have a share holding it is rare for them to have a controlling interest once incorporated a company is subject to all the rules of company law as laid down in the companies act these are often complex rules but companies and their directors are deemed to be aware of them and to understand that non-compliance may often lead to personal criminal liability in, co in, co <coughs> in comparison with other trading entities such as sole trader or partnership the company enjoys greater flexibility in the raising of capital for example, it may raise capital by means of a floating charge over the whole company or a specific part of the company's assets. Until the change crystallizes, the directors are free to deal with or sell 
uh, those assets subject to the charge. Companies can also raise capital subject to compliance with stock exchange regulations from the various securities markets such as the alternative investment market and the uh, unlisted securities market. In due course, this can lead to a full stock exchange listing where the company's shares are fully traded with its activities being subject to full public scrutiny. While many business operators elect to uh, trade as a limited company to reduce their personal risks, banks and other leading sit uh, institutions will not necessarily uh, provide finance of the company itself. In the absence of a good trading record and substantial fixed assets, which can be charged in the event of default, banks will frequently only lend to companies where the directors provide their own personal guarantees. In order to, in to incorporate a company, the <coughs> subscribers must register, register a range of documents with the registrars of companies together with certain fees. These are usually fees payable to professional uh, adverses who form the company. Although, or advisors who form the company, although it is this, uh, increasingly the, care, the case for new companies to be purchased off the shelf. Uh, from a company formation uh, agent in order to minimize costs. During the life the, of the company, there are annual compliance requirements such as submission of annual accounts to the registrar of companies, completion of a manual return and notification of all other relevant such, uh, statutory issues such as appointment or registration to directors and the company's uh, secretary, registration of mortgages and uh, charges, uh, and uh, uh, any cha uh, changes in the location of the registered office. In recent years, the, there has been an increasing number of companies form, formed as trading vehicles by individuals offering personal services, particularly in the formation in information in the information technology field. This has enabled the owners of the company, usually a single shareholder, to maximize their personal earnings by taking dividends from the companies instead of salaries as employees. This practice, however, has come under the scrutiny of the, of the inland revenue and its advantages may be restricted where the personal service company uh, contracts with, this, with a single limited company.